Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I do apologize in advance for the rain in the background, but I guess since we're doing a grass deck, just consider it like the water actually watering the grass. I mean, that's another way of looking at things, but with that being said, this here is going to be a brand new deck that I've actually uh, just got an idea from. I actually wanted to get a different card working and because of that I was asking around for some suggestions as to what I could do to make that particular card work which I will mention later on but it came to the point where someone recommended me how about play Delmise V Max so that's what I did I basically just hopped on to my well one of the websites that I usually buy from and I essentially just went out looking for these two copies of Delmise V Max and pretty much try to build a deck around it. So here we are with the actual deck itself and I'm just really excited to show you guys. This is the kind of deck I really like, a deck that just straight up deals big damage and gets the job done in one hit, well majority of the time. As we can see here, Max Anchor is an attack that deals a whopping 240 damage, that is huge. And, you know, seeing that, it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, I just really uh, love that an attack like this actually still exists. I mean, this is why decks like Cremorant or Salazzle are so fun. And the fact that we now have a deck like Delmise as well, uh, that's just always uh, nice to play. However, before I get started, I would like to remind you guys to drop a like, share, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, it really does help, and please also hit that bell notification too. But without further ado, let's begin. So starting off here, we have our Delmise V Max and our Delmise V. I'm only playing two copies of each because honestly, that's all you really need. This is a whopping 330 HP Pokemon. What kind of Pokemon out there is really going to knock this out? They're going to have a hard time. So because of that, you really only need to focus on your main two over here. Just get them out on the board as quick as possible. And we play plenty of cards that could search it out anyway, so no biggie there. But with that being said, this is something that is absolutely amazing of course. But you guys are wondering, how do we even attach the energy that quickly? It requires three energy onto this particular Pokemon. Two requiring grass and one colorless. Well, we will be getting to that in a sec, but for that time being, this is the ratios I'm going with. There's no need to exert yourself by adding in more copies. Next up, we have some supporting V Pokemon, Zarud V, Crobat V, and Eldegoss V. Crobat V is a bit more on a self-explanatory side. However, Eldegoss V and Zarud V, I figure being grass Pokemon, it will synergize quite well in this particular deck. Eldegoss does allow you to recycle your supporters, and being that you could use a particular engine that we'll get to later to add on energy to the particular Elder Goss, it does actually seem to be quite an efficient play. But at the same time, Zerud also acts as that, I guess, pseudo secondary attacker if we really need it to because it does require less energy. So with that being said, I'm playing the one copy of it, but no need to play more than that. However, with that being said, here is the main engine that I was trying to get working. I basically owned the copies of Rillaboom for a very long time and I was just basically going around asking what would I actually be able to play to make this card work and that's where the Delmise actually came in. So with that being said, Rillaboom has an amazing ability Voltage Beat, allowing you to once per turn search your deck for up to two Grass Energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. That really speeds up everything because all you need is one energy in your hand and to use this ability and right off the bat your Delmise VMAX has an active attack available right away. That is definitely a spectacular speed of attack and as a result playing two copies of the Rillaboom will definitely work out for this deck. There's no need to play any more than that but I will say that if you have both Rillabooms out on the bench you could really speed things up. It definitely will uh, just be really amazing there. And you don't even have to worry about the Rillabooms in the later game. Uh, you could just let uh, the Rillabooms actually just take the hit. And that way you keep your Delmizers on board because they already have the energy to pretty much attack the opponent's remaining Pokemon. 
So let's talk about the basic staples here. We have four quick balls, two evolution incense, and two rare candies. Should be self-explanatory for a lot of these. Evolution incense, I kept it to only two copies, just because we only have four evolution cards and a lot of them can still be searched out in other methods anyway. With rare candy, it definitely is also quite amazing being that you'll just play two of them to skip from Grookey directly into your Rillaboom. And so your Thwacky tends to become discard fodder for the Quick Ball or maybe even the Professor's Research. Next up we have here some Partial Control and Shenanigree actually happening on the field. We have four copies of Turbo Patch allowing us to pretty much recover our energy that's been lost into the discard pile. But of course, it does require a coin flip, but hey, we're playing four copies, we're eventually going to win some anyway. With Switch, we're playing some really high cost retreat Pokemon as a result. Cards like Air Balloon or your Scoop Up Nets don't really work out as well in this particular deck, so we do have to maximize the Switches at four copies, and I even extended that to the Escape Ropes as well, allowing us to also partially control what our opponent switches. And to further facilitate that, we're also playing two copies of the Pokemon Catcher, but there's going to be a lot more shenanigans actually happening. For example, we're playing two copies here of the Crushing Hammers, absolutely amazing to slow down the opponent. I'm also playing here two copies of Ordinary Rod, returning at our Grass Energy, because we could easily just reattach it with the uh, Rillaboom anyway. Tool Scrapper, obviously that's pretty self-explanatory. And the big charm is quite amazing because keep in mind your Delmise VMAX has 330 HP. Now there are certain Pokemon that can knock it out in two hits and being the biggest Pokemon out there is Snorlax VMAX at a whopping 340. By attaching big charm which gives 30 to the 330 HP of the Delmise V you are actually surpassing the highest Pokemon out there meaning it could potentially take up to three hits for the opponent to actually knock out your Delmise V. By then, it might be too late. And as for stadiums, I thought playing two copies of Turfield Stadium is fantastic to also add our evolution Pokemon, hence why not needing to actually maximize the amount of evolution incense out there. We just want to get a way to quickly bring out our evolution Pokemon as quick as possible uh, we do actually have six targets, I mean we have two Rillabooms, two Thwackies, and two of the Delmise V, so with Turfield Stadium out there, it's definitely nice. We play the extra copy, just because uh, the opponent might actually destroy one of them in some sort of way, so with that being said, we always have an extra, and even if we don't need the second copy, we could always just discard it as fodder anyway. As for supporters, Three copies of Boss's Orders, I wanted to establish as much control as possible. We are dealing 240 damage per turn, and the fact that you can't use that same attack on the following turn, we have to pretty much be very careful as to who we want to hit. So to have Boss's Orders in the ready to knock out their most important Pokemon is quite crucial. As for Marnie, I don't really care too much about what's in the opponent's hand. Marnie is more so to readjust our own hand to get the cards we actually need. And of course, I'm playing four copies of the Professor's Research. Absolutely amazing to speed up the deck and get what you need. As for energy, we're playing four copies of Aromatic Energy. I figured this one would be something we could attach ourselves, whereas the other energy would be attached via Rillaboom. But this does actually protect our own Pokemon from actually receiving any kind of special conditions. I've been seeing a lot of decks out there that utilize Burn, Poison, Confuse, I mean that's really annoying. So with that being said, having Aromatic Energy to keep your Pokemon out of harm's way is definitely something I find to be quite alleviating. And of course we finally have our basic energy, perhaps this is too less, maybe it's gonna work differently for you. A lot of people might actually say this is too less, considering what Rillaboom can actually do, attach two at a time. But for me, it gets the job done because I am playing two ordinary rods, being able to return back a potential four more copies, so technically we are playing ten copies in that particular perspective. 
However, that was pretty much it for today's video, so I do hope you guys have fun playing this particular deck, though this deck also does an amazing job at actually knocking out Pokemon in just one turn. So with the control you also establish, you could pretty much win games in three turns, it is definitely possible. Just a matter of how consistent your draws are. But with that being said, thanks for joining me today, I hope you all have a splendid day, I'll see you all next time.